Welcome back to another SCP reading, dear researcher. Today we'll be reading SCP-169, The Leviathan. Now without further ado, item number SCP-169, object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. Because of its size, SCP-169 cannot and almost certainly will never be contained. No structure on Earth is large enough or strong enough to contain SCP-169. The location of SCP-169 is not precisely known, but imaging satellites and analysis of eccentricities in the Earth's orbit suggest SCP-169 is located in the southern Atlantic Ocean, possibly stretching around the tip of South America. See Addendum 0-20. Any satellite footage of a shift in the land masses produced by SCP-169 is to be excised and destroyed by embedded agents. Description SCP-169 is surmised to be a marine arthropod of enormous size, known as the Leviathan, by generations of sailors and oral history. Presumed to be a myth, SCP-169 was detected on a redacted date in the 1900s by Mobile Task Force Gamma-6 during an investigation of paranormal activity around the Beta Redacted Archipelago. During Gamma-6's investigation, a Foundation doctor, Gamma-6-0912, discovered the archipelago to have moved at least three kilometers from its original location. Though initially, the doctor believed this motion to be due to unusually quick continental drift, a reconnaissance mission performed by the USS Beta Redacted revealed the archipelago to be the protrusions of rock-like plates covering an enormous organic mass. The foundation was brought in immediately to begin threat management. Two Foundation Doctors the previous one, and Gamma-6-0421, estimated SCP-169's length to be between 2,000 and 8,000 kilometers. The creature is thought to have existed since the Precambrian era. No other specimens have been sighted. Almost nothing is known about SCP-169's habits, such as its reproductive capabilities, if any, food source, and nesting area, if any. Research regarding SCP-169 is pending approval. The archipelago, known as the Beta Redacted Islands, have historically been uninhabited, though claimed by Beta Redacted in the 1700s. Upon handover to the Foundation, Beta Redacted presence was evacuated on the pretense of rising sea levels. Though the archipelago has remained above sea level for several millennia, any change in depth by SCP-169 could result in the disappearance of the entire archipelago. SCP-169 moves slowly, less than one kilometer per week, but seems only to be adrift. Its method of propulsion is unknown. Regular seismic tremors seem to indicate breathing about every three months, causing minor shifts in the island's terrain, suggesting that the creature is probably dormant. Information Suppression The USS Beta Redacted was scuttled with all hands immediately after the discovery of SCP-169, with the permission of the American government. The public is forbidden from entering the archipelago created by SCP-169 due to the conveniently large number of resident endangered bird species. As indicated above, satellite footage is to be doctored in order to suppress knowledge of SCP-169's movement. NASA is currently cooperating with the Foundation in keeping the existence of SCP-169 quiet, and is currently permitting the Foundation use of their satellites for photographic use. Addendum 0-20 In 1990, Beta Redacted The U.S. National Geographic and Atmospheric Administration an American scientific agency unaffiliated with and unaware of the existence of the Foundation detected an ultra-low frequency underwater sound emitting from around Beta Redacted, approximately Beta Redacted, kilometers from the southwestern coast of South America. Despite the best efforts of the embedded agent, 
IA-1522, news of the sound leaked to the media, receiving significant media coverage. Foundation analysis concluded that a massive underwater organism was the source of the noise, and SCP-169 was hypothesized to be its source, as its head is well within the possible locations of the rest of SCP-169. The sound confirms Gamma 6-0421's hypothesis that SCP-169 is gargantuan in size. Future efforts by scientific or civilian teams to determine the source of the noise must be stopped by any means necessary. Ah yes, the source of the bloop. What a wonderful thing. I think at one point I went to see it myself, but honestly, from the surface it just looks like a bunch of islands, so... Unless you're gonna go deeper in, which I certainly was not, there isn't much to see, sadly. But thank you very much for coming, researchers. It's been an honor reading for you, and... Good luck out there.